Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a camera picture effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's gonna look a little something like this. And there you have it. We've all seen a movie where something like this was used. You know, it's usually used to track a bad guy or to introduce a bad guy and show that a team is following them, something like that. So this is the effect we are going to be creating. Let's get started. What we need to do is have a sequence with our footage in it. And then we're gonna need a couple of different aspects. The first is going to be an overlay. You can just search for camera overlay on Google and find a good one. I use this one right here. Remember that if this is for something professional, you have to remember copyrights might come into play. So make sure you aren't using anything that is copyrighted. And then we're using a sound here, which is a camera shutter. I got off of freesound.org and I just searched for camera shutter and I got to this one, a Canon T2i shutter that has a very nice clean sound to it, right like so. So those are the two things that I am using in my uh, production to create this overall effect. First thing we're gonna do, is we need to desaturate the film just a little bit. For some reason, Hollywood goes along with this idea that the camera is black and white, um, and then, I don't know, it's just something that always happens. So we want to take our film and then desaturate it just a little bit. Easiest way to do that is click on it, go to color up here, and then Lumetri color. Um, you can also go into your effects and drag in Lumetri color on here, or search for saturation, or it's HLS. Uh, if you search for HLS right here, you can bring in color balance and use desaturation on that as well. So now that we have a slightly desaturated shot, we're going to go ahead and bring in the overlay that we have uh, downloaded and imported. And that overlay is going to be right here. It's going to be this one right here, the uh, PNG number one. PNG number one, right like so. And you'll see that it already has a background um, keyed out. So it's just like literally dropping over it. And this just makes it look like a camera. Next, what we wanna do is we need to actually create our shutter. So what we wanna do is go in to the graphics here. We're going to create ourselves a file new and then black video, or you can actually use a color mat if you wanna create a different colored shutter, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a black video because that's probably the simplest right here. We're gonna drag that on, and then now we're gonna find places where we want the picture to be taken. So for example, maybe right here, we want a picture taken. So we're gonna drag the black video up to it, and then go forward one, two, three frames, and cut it right there. And so now we have this black image that quickly comes in, and because it goes so fast, it makes it look like a shutter. What I actually like to do is, you'll see that this is on for the, let's see, uh, one second, two second, or one frame, two frames, three frames, and then off. On this third frame right here, I like to reduce the opacity. So if we go to the second one, and then we use a keyframe, we can go to this third one and make it go down to something like 50%. This just gives it a little bit more of the proper illusion of the opacity slowly coming back because as the shutter moves, there's gonna be some motion blur on it and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. It also allows us to chain them together. So if I click Control C, which is to copy this, and then make sure that this is selected on video three, otherwise it'll paste into our actual video right here. I can now hit Control V right at the end, and you'll see that it creates two shutters. And it isn't just one black bar the whole time, it actually creates, makes it look like two pictures were taken really, really fast next to one another. And then I'm going to finally add another one right here. So now it looks like we're taking three pictures. And so that is our the that side of things. Now what we're gonna do is we have two things left to do, and that is to add in our effects and to maybe simulate some camera movement. If you'll notice this is on a tripod, so what I like to do is actually click on the video piece right here, go into position, scale, and then move this forward a couple of frames the whole time. I actually did like a whole clip based one, so for example, we can go all the way at the beginning here, uh, create two keyframes, and then sort of move, make sure that's both selected, and then move to the end, or to where you ever want to stop, so let's go like right here, and then maybe zoom it in some, move it to the, uh, to the left some, like maybe like just focus it on his face right here. And then now what we can do is we can actually drop these both down, and then just sort of have some fun with the controls here, so the scale, we can take this first one, right click and go easy in, and then maybe drag this around. So you can see we're creating some interesting effects here with the, the velocity graphs. And this just makes it look a little bit more natural, I feel, overall. 
And we can do the same thing with the position right here. We can just have some fun with it. Um, maybe do the same sort of easy, the temporal impolation, easy in. Drag it around. And now we have this sort of, it feels a little bit like a natural camera movement going in. And then we can just create our, uh, our shots right here. And you know, we could copy and paste this as well and make it take pictures up here as well. So you just kind of emulate some camera movement in there to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then the last step is we just need to take our sound effect and drag it in right here. So we're going to put it right there. And then we want this sound effect to play at the beginning of each one of these. So we can copy and paste this, or we can just keep dragging them out since it isn't something unique. Um, if we copy and paste this, make sure you do the same as this. It's going to go on whichever one is lowest highlighted. So if we copy and paste it we, and we want it to go on the third one, we'll put it here. And then now you can see that there's two of them right like so. If we want it on the fourth, we'd only have the fourth selected, or we can just do it sort of like that. Or, like I said, you can just drag them out to match all of them. And so now what we have is we have the effect created and now we have our um, picture effect completely created so it's just a couple of different things put together it's not too complicated you just need yourself an overlay a good sound effect and then just to create a shutter uh, a mock shutter and put it all together thanks everyone for joining me if you have any questions or comments go and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net if you want to see my videos similar to this one go ahead and hit that subscribe button i make a video every other day on adobe related products and until next time guys see ya